Welcome back to my rich YouTube channel. Today's class will be learning how to make this beautiful exaggerated bubble sleeve. It's a very beautiful sleeve and it's very simple to make. If this is something you would like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. To make this sleeve, I'm going to be demonstrating it on my paper first. It's a long sleeve that has a puffy part and then it has a cuff on the hem okay so i'm just going to imagine this to be my full long sleeve so for the curve area depending on how wide how long you want it to be but for me i'm going to be working with around six inches for the length of my curve so what you just need to do now is to deduct that six inches from your basic sleeve so i'm assuming that to be this and then i'm going to rule it out like this so now i'm going to remove that so you can shape this to your actual round sleeve measurement and this part is going to be my cuff okay so now from here to here for me if my sleeve length is actually 23 inches full sleeve length so if i'm deducting 6 inches for my cuff that's going to be 18 inches which means from here to here is supposed to be 18 inches but because this is going to be a puff sleeve I'm going to be adding like between 3 to 5 inches depending on how puffy you want it to be. So if you are adding 5 inches to this, you are going to be left with around 23 inches again. So which means that's the length I'm going to be working with mine. I'm not going to be working with exactly 18 inches. I'm going to add excess to it so that it can be a bit puffy. I hope we get that. So now I've gone ahead to cut this part on my organza. I'm using organza for this, but you can also use um, net fabric or any soft fabric. I have organza or any sample, all these sample fabrics that are a bit soft will be good for this kind of sleep. So I have organza, that's what I'm using, but this is an example of a sample fabric. It's like organza, it's really beautiful and soft, but I don't have enough, so I'm going to be working with organza. For this project so this upper part here the 18 inches plus whatever excess that you want to have I've already cut it out and I'm not going to be shaping it you can see that I maintained the length that I used on fold for my actual sleeve my actual round sleeve is 14 inches 14 divided by 2 is supposed to be 7 inches plus 1 8 inches for my for my actual sleeve but i want to gather this a bit just for me to have all this puffy effect so i did not work with exactly eight inches i worked with around so i have around 10 or 12 inches on fold here so you can see this is 11 inches on fold so i added a few to that so the same 11 inches that i used on the upper part is what i used on the hem i'm just going to gather all of this back into my into my cuff and the curve will of course be my actual sleeve measurement so i hope you understand that so the length that i have here is around okay so this is around 21 inches as against the 18 inches that we have earlier which means i added extra three inches to it so now i have this as my basic sleeve okay so this is going to be my foundation sleeve the next thing now is to create the lines that i'm going to be gathering on so the first thing i'm going to do is to note the midpoint or anyhow you want this to to look so now i'm going to put the fabric on fold to get the midpoint so after getting your midpoint, midpoint i've notched mine i'm going to bring in my ruler and connect it to form a straight line so what i'm doing now is to portion my puff how i want to be placing my puff so this center line is going to guide me so the chalk is not really showing on the organza so just watch what i'm doing so i've marked this to be my center line so from this line now you're going to measure how wide you want the organza to be how far apart you want them to be so the smaller the puffiness so i don't want it too too wide so i'm just going to work on with three inches in that one. so i'll measure three inches towards this side i'll measure another three inches I'll do the same thing on this side as well. So I'm going to have five lines by the time I'm, fit, I'm through. So now I'm going to mark another 33 inches in Tava on the upper part so that I can get a perfect straight line on both sides. Then I'm going to bring in my ruler and then connect all of them to form my straight lines. 
so i have connected them now i made them into a straight line and i have one two three four five so you don't have to have five lines you can do three you can do two depending on the amount of fabric that you have to work with like i said i'm going to be working with five years of two years sorry two years of ganza fabric for my puffin for my gather so that's all i have so now this is the i've replicated what i have here i've divided this also into three lines you get your midpoint five lines you get your midpoint then i measure three three inch interval to this side then another three three to this side so i have one two three four five lines so now the next thing is to bring in my organza so like i said the organza is very big so i'm going to be using this paper as well to demonstrate what i'm going to do so now again because it's very big this is going to be the yard this is how we are going to work with it. This is the two yards that we are working with. And then of course, Organza is 16 inches by length. So this side is going to be our 16 inches. So it is the 16 inches guard side that I'm going to be gathering together like this. So this is the yard. So now on my yard side, I'm going to put it on fold by two again. Okay. So after placing on fold by two, you can rule that so that we will see it well. And we are going to be running a gather stitch on all of these and then we'll gather it so for each one of them depending on the amount of fabric you have to work with so just like we measured when we wanted to partition them so now in this case remember we did three inches interval so because i want it really full the three inches i'm going to multiply it by two sorry by three and that's going to give me 12 inches so i'm going to measure 12 inches to this side and then rule it another 12 inches and rule the same way 12 inches to this side i'm going to rule it 12 inches to this side i'm going to rule it as well so all of these lines that we have now you're going to run your gather stitch on all of them so after running your gather stitch on them like this you're going to drag it and gather to the size of the length that we have here remember this is 60 inches actually so we are going to gather it to the 21 inches that we have here then after gathering it i'm going to be placing it on the lines too so i hope you understand it i'll still bring it so that we'll be seeing it one step at a time but because it's big we may not be able to see it now so that's why i'm showing us so what you're going to do after gathering it remember this is a paper so it may not fold well you gather place here the next one now you gather it but because it's not in excess remember this was three inches in power and now we have 12 inches here which is times three of what we have so now by the time i place the next one this is going to puff out okay then i'm going to gather this and place it and this is going to pop out that's how i'm going to be doing it so this is your organza that i'm working with i'll go and gather it now and bring it back to show us what we have okay so i'm on the machine now i'm, I'm running my gather stitch so because this is very big i'm just using my tape measure to as a guide okay so from the last end here i'm measuring 12 inches so you can see how i'm placing it i hope you can see this so let me just bring this up okay so i'm placing 12 inches okay so from this end from this end now i'm placing 12 inches so once i see where my 12 inches is i'm going to sew along that line. so you just do it in bits so now i finish this i'm going to rearrange it from this end again i'm going to measure another 12 inches so once i have it like this i know i'm sewing like this and then i'm going to sew again so from here now i'm going to measure the 12 inches again I'll see my straight line and then sew. So that's how I'm going to sew it. So now from this other hand, the next one now, from this sewn part, that's what I'm going to use as a guide. So now from there, I'm going to measure under 12 inches and keep sewing like that. Okay, so I've gone ahead to gather this now. You can see my gather. So this is one, this is the next one. And they have two, two, 12, 12 inches interval in between them, just like I explained. Okay, so this is the end part which we're still going to gather. So now the next thing is to bring in my my basic sleeve okay the one that is going to be on down it that's the foundation sleeve and then i'll start to sew it so you can see the lines that we have there i'm just going to place each of the gathers on the line like this and then i'll sew it down then the next gather i'm going to shift it and then place it on the next one so let me just bring in the paper that is more obvious okay so now what we're doing is the gathered part here so this gathered part here i'm going to place it on the line okay 
then after placing it on the line i'm going to sew it down so now the next gathered part now you're going to shift it like this and place it on the next line and sew so i'll go and sew this now okay so now i'm going to sew it you can see the middle point okay so i just sew it down so now let me turn to the right side to the wrong side so that i can see my seam length so you can see one two three four and five so you can see how full this is if you don't want yours to be this full remember i multiplied my measurement the three inches by by four okay to get to get 12 inches so you can multiply yours by just three or two inches but i want it to be this full okay so now the next last thing to do is to gather the excess the excess that i have on each edge to my end part yeah remember this is what we have we have gathered on one two three four five we still have the underarm area to go so now the excess that we have which is this and this i'm going to gather it also to that point before i close it on the underarm area so here i'm going to take this down and gather it to fit into my underarm measurement on both sides so after that i'm going to fix my cuff on the hem so this excess that we have remember we have excesses after sewing it after sewing it in between this this we are going to be having excesses here and here because this is three inches and what we sewed was 12 inches so now all these excesses that you have here you just need to sew them down by gathering it to fit in like this you can see i'm free i'm gathering it so now you can see this is the three inches this is the 12 inches so i'm going to place or gather the 12 inches to fit it like this on the hem and also on the upper part before fixing my cuff okay so i'm gonna head to gather the one on the underarm area as you can see and then on the upper part i gathered it to fit into it so if you turn to the wrong side now you can see that everything now is back to our normal size this is what it looks like and you can see how voluminous this is so this is two years of organza this is what two years of organza gave me you can use more or less depending on how full you want yours to be so now the last thing to do is to gather our m inside the curve remember we deducted six inches for our curve so i'm going to have to cut my curve it's cut on fold which means the m is already in it so now i'm going to gather all of this to fit into this so you gather it in a way that it's going to be neatly finished then after that we are going to sew it on the underarm area so i've sewn in the cuff as you can see so you can put buttons or whatever it is that you want to put in form of a cuff link but i'm just closing mine like a regular strip so this is what the cuff looks like so i'm going to search this this underarm area after sewing the cuff i just place them together and then i sew it on the underarm so you can see my seam line so now the next thing i'm going to do now is to dip my hand and pull out this to the right side okay so when you pull it to the right side this is what you have you can see how voluminous and beautiful this is looking and this is my cuff okay so now you're going to iron your cuff but you are not going to iron your organza because you want it to be this fluffy and bouncy so the last thing to do is to gather this upper part this round hamper where you are sewing to your hamper remember we had that to it our sleeve was supposed to be eight inches and then we cut out around 12 12 inches or so so now you're going to gather it back to your round armhole measurement and then you fix this to your armhole so i'll take this to the mannequin now so that we can see what it looks like but already i love the volume that i have here okay so this is what the sleeve looks like on the mannequin you can see how voluminous and beautiful this turned out so i used two yards of organza as ruffles for this particular sleeve which means for two sleeves it will mean four yards of organza so i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye